welcome back to my channel and if you're new consider it subscribing and today on brains and beauty i'm going to be showing you three easy tips on taking study school notes on every single Wednesday where I'm going to be showing you slime experiments, DIY things, and many more. I'll be showing you guys every single stuff that are used in life that are not being in, taught in school and are good for us to learn. I'm going to be showing today I'm going to be showing you three easy steps. So remember because to come to come here every single Wednesday for new videos. So remember to come here every single Wednesday for new stuff. So I hope this will help you. Guys, I'm in middle school, so I hope these tips will help you in any grade you are. High school, elementary school, middle school. So I hope this helps you, you guys. Maybe get a tip or one or two tips um, for your, to help you with your studies. So today I'm going to be using my Yobi supplies. And the thing I like about Yobi is that when you buy something, that half that money goes to other children or schools to help them improve and get supplies too. So I'm going to show you the thing that are, that is cool about these. I posted these on my Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, go check me out right here. And I'll also place it in the link, the, the description box below. So click that link and let's be friends on Instagram. So you guys, I got all these from Yobi Rush, which hashtag not sponsored. So these are double-ended colored pencils. They have like two and in the name um <laughs> they're double ended there's 12 of them in here and it's also from yobi and here's my i love this avocado notebook it's from yobi and guess what it has a giant avocado in front and it's also when you pull the little yobi bird it also a little pouch right here so like just and you can put like your ruler in here your colored pencils anything and then also when you flip it over, it's like a giant avocado land. It's a giant avocado land. So, and then there's also pages with lines on it if you wanna um, like write things or just simply draw. <laughs> My alien, he's saying hi to you guys. But I'm also use this for taking my notes. If you think all these color pencils will fit in this little how to give this video a big thumbs up. Ready? Three, magic. Two, and one. There they are, they all fit. And I can also add more things in there. So this is how cool and handy it is. Now let me show you the back. The back is the exact same thing, avocado world. I'm gonna put this aside. And I got this on clearance, you guys. It was, um, I bought this today, and look at how cute it is. It's so cute, it's a first one we It says be wild, and has a giant tiger on it. It's so efficient, you can take it on the go, it's not, it's very light, and it has all the things that you need. So, it has this little, right here, right there. It comes with so much things, and it's so pink. So right here is a staple remover. Right here is a pencil sharpener, some scissors, oh, and some staples, a extra roll of tape, and some a tape dispenser with tape in it. A oops, let me get this out first. A stapler and a hole puncher. Give you a quick demonstration of how all these work. So I'm gonna use a stapler first since it already has staples in it. So So that's a staple. And then this if you um don't want a staple it, 
Yeah, this is a staple remover. So all you do is put it right down the paper. And take out. There you go. There's a staple. And make sure to always throw the staple away and don't try or don't drop it on the floor because it has po po pokey things. And then you might get like hurt because of it. So remember always to toss it out. And this also came with the hole puncher. And And these are obviously skizzers. I love my Yobi stationery. It comes with so many things that are so useful. And you can even like store it in a little container that's very lightweight. And I just love it. All right, now I'm gonna get to the study tips. So let's open a free page that doesn't have drawings. Here you go. The things I more likely use is highlighters and a pen. So first I do the subject. Let's start with math. I do a capital letter so I can stand out and I also highlight it in the like so I can stand out. But I don't highlight the whole thing. I like do that. That's how I highlight it, highlight it, but because it like stands out for me. But you can color the whole thing if you want. So first I bullet point what the subject was about. First I write what the subject was about that day. That was number one. Next I do key words. Number three is reminders. And then on the bottom I do three categories like homework, test, and then when we're supposed to return the homework. So these are the three categories I do with that help me remind what things I do. So see three easy quick steps on math. Now time for ELA. Which is reading and writing. All I do is reminders. So like reminders is read for 20 minutes. And if I have homework, do home. So since ELA is kind of easy for me, which is technically reading, um, but if you're struggling on an ELA, um, just read for like 20 or like add 10 more minutes to your reading for 20, 30 minutes. Just add 10 more minutes to your reading routine. So another quick tip for ELA. So, um, have somebody, have someone, to um, ask you what the book was about. So, just have somebody ask you what the book was about because it will help you with comprehension. Comprehension is the main keyword on reading. Now since I have more space here, this is what I like to do. I just like to do like pairs of L's right here and then write the subject and then again do the line. So science is technically about plants, human body, insects, and the world. Also experiments. So what I do is normally write about what we did on that day. And then also I write about if we have 
homework. And when it is due. So science is pretty easy. Now let's do history. So guys, these tips are quick and easy and to help you write study tips. And sometimes I do the line and sometimes I just like do that. Like just to help me stand out. But you guys could do help and make your brain understand the subject for from writing. So history is the same thing as science. Right of what we did on that day, and it also if you have homework and when it's due. Okay, guys, I told you it was three easy, quick steps to help you with studies. I hope these tips will help you to make it easier. If you have any other tips, comment down below. You guys, I want to hear and learn from you too. Okay, guys, this is it for Brains and Beauty. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now so you can see my next video. But for now, check me out on these ones right here. See you there. Bye.